Scott, it amazes me within the portfolio of Makino EDM machines. I mean, we're starting off with a, a fantastic machine here. This is a sync machine, but why have you got an array of cell with it? Okay, so uh, the machine you're seeing here at the moment is the EDA F3 machine, uh, heat variant. Uh, so uh, designed for uh, a lot of the aerospace industries, uh, let's say uh, seal slots. So a high speed rib uh, pulling a one and a half G force uh, with a 20, millimeter, uh, 20 meter a minute jump. Okay. Uh, full hyperide control, uh, commonly throughout the Makino platform. Uh, we've linked it to the Aroa Compact 80 to show that uh, not only can this machine work singularly on its own, it can also be linked for uh, when you're needing to set up a fully autonomous uh, process. Okay, the beauty of the machine is it can actually be handed. Uh, so uh, during, obviously, factory fit, we can actually hand it so we can go either side. So you're looking at both fronts of the machine rather than one having to be turned round. Okay, and it's just to get those, those overnight hours uh, where you need to keep uh, full processes moving uh, for, for full production. I mean, we, we travel around the world, as you know, with, with a lot of our channels, and I, I see a lot of automation on everything at the moment, but one thing I don't see as much is EDM. So obviously, from your point of view, this is quite a, a showcase for you, isn't it? Yeah, it has. Uh, I mean, it's, uh, we're quite, quite excited about showing this. I mean, it's, over the last few years, you're starting to see automation in this country coming in more and more, uh, obviously, uh, different, different areas. But um, it, it's needed because the, the electrodes aren't now just, uh, just manufactured. They, they need to be manufactured, passed in, inspected, moved onto the machine uh, in one full swoop. People now, let's say, haven't got uh, necessarily the manpower to run uh, EDM machines, uh, which is a constant need to be in front of the machine. What they need to do is they need to have now robots helping them in, in moving. And when you look at your portfolio of machines, um, I see that the control panels, are, are they all touchscreen? Because I, I, obviously we're looking at the U3i here, which is obviously the, the, is this the entry level machine for wire? So no, no, uh, the entry level machine we do is actually the U3 brand, okay? Uh, the U3i is actually the next step up, which is really the, the, the machine that you'll be looking for if you want to have those little extra microns. I mean, we talk a lot about microns now with regards to what we're trying to achieve. Um, so this is the next way of, of finding that micron. If you're in, let's say, a medical sector, uh, aerospace space again um, where, where you need to really find extra accuracy. And one thing I know at uh, NCMT, you, you, you guys are turnkey uh, solution providers, and, and I see a Kitagao power system there. What, what's that there for? Yeah, so uh, the Kitagao that we've got linked to here is actually a rotary indexer. The, the machine here is actually set up to do a turn and burn example. Okay, so a lot of medical now, uh, it's very, very small parts, uh, high surface finishes uh, which we require, uh, which, which the controller does offer uh, with our Crystal 2 machining. Okay, so, so it, it's there to, to prove that not only only uh, is the Makino with the U3i uh, capable of doing high tolerance jobs, uh, it's also there to show that we can link units such as this through the uh, high pride control, uh, again, as I said, the common platform, uh, and how easy it is to use. Well, it's fantastic. We're talking about automation, we're talking about your, your, the U3i, but hey, the world premier really for the UK marketplace. Now, you, you're telling me, uh, and at Emo, this is the fastest wire machine in the world. Now, yes. one thing I've noticed on it without you saying anything to me is the, is the thickness of the wire. It, why is that different? Okay, so the thickness of the wire is coming because, uh, so basically, uh, to get extra power, extra speed through the process, to give you better cycle times on your job, uh, the, the, the Makino now is capable of cutting with 0.4 wire. Uh, Standard is 0.25, okay, we can go as low as 0.1 with this machine, but we can go right the way up to the wire that you'll see in there now, which is 0.4 wire. Uh, it gives you the ability to put extra ampage through the uh, wire itself, uh, and with the help of the, the flushing pumps on the side that cool the wire during the process, uh, we can get two to three times faster cutting speeds. Is this a bit of a game changer, Scott? It is a game changer, absolutely. I mean, we, we, we're quite excited about this here at NCMT, uh, and, and we're looking at this machine, it's going to be very, very popular in the market now people see uh, obviously it's going to be released at Mac so you'll be able to, to see this come through. So actually talking about Mac t tell me what you're going to have on your stand at, at NCMT from an EDM perspective. Okay so at Mac this, uh, this year we're going to be showing the U6 Heat Extreme okay the Extreme is the 0.4 variant okay with the additional power booster on the side uh, cutting fir tree um, uh, blisks 
okay, which is a, uh, where we can eliminate expensive broaching processes. Uh, with, there's an opportunity very much so in that in the market. Uh, there's the U3 I machine, okay, uh, what we've just seen with regards to a little bit higher accuracy, uh, but with a turn and burn scenario for a very small medical part, uh, we, we're finding at the moment that, that customers in the market are really after this level of technology. Well, so it's, it's going to be a great opportunity, and, and obviously you've got the showcase here in, in your main facility in Coventry. Yeah. So I'm, I'm thinking, the, from, from an EDM perspective, is that if, if engineers can't actually get to, to Mac, obviously you've got the showroom, you've got all these different sort of options to show them as well. Absolutely, I mean, what, what we've got here, uh, if they can't get to Mac, uh, obviously very much in, the, in the, this, this period now, uh, feel free to contact myself, uh, my email's scotthorton at ncmt.co.uk, uh, try and arrange to come and have a look, if you really want to have a look but can't get to Mac, failing that, uh, I'm sure we can, uh, we can arrange for you to come afterwards and, and come and see me. Well, great facility, Great EDM machines, I'm sure you're going to sell a lot, especially maybe the U6. Yeah, we hope so. Thank you.